Today I'm reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. In this verse we're reading the words of King Solomon, inspired by the Holy Spirit. The Bible calls him the wisest man that ever lived. Verse 1. There is a season, a time appointed for everything, and a time for every delight, an event, or purpose under heaven. Time. How do we spend our time? I'm asking myself that today. At the end of any day, if I stopped and evaluated what I did with my time, would God be honored? We watch our words, we watch our behavior, we watch our money, but do we watch our time? Let's talk to God about this. Let's just focus and pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that we can walk right into your presence and talk to you about what's on our minds. Today, God, we're asking you for wisdom and direction when it comes to our time. Lord, open our eyes and our understanding of how we spend this gift you give us every day. We use the word spend, and that speaks of a cost. Is where and what I spend my time doing costing me something? And Father, what is the return on the investment of that time? Is it just for today, or will it last? Will it go into eternity? Show us what we're investing in. Show us the legacy we're leaving to those who are following us. When we schedule our time, is it all about us? Is it about others? Or Lord, is it about you? Are we investing time in your presence and in your word to know you more? Your character, your ways, your will for our lives and the lives of the ones we love. You sit lovingly waiting for us. Help us to see that our time with you is our greatest investment with the greatest return. We ask you for so much through the day, Lord. We seek your hand to meet our needs, to calm our fears, and protect our loved ones. But today we seek your face, one-on-one -on -one time with you, the one and the only one we call Father. Verse 11 of this chapter says, God made everything beautiful and appropriate in its time. Is there beauty in how we spend our time? Help us, Lord, right at the top of the day, in the early moments, to prioritize time with you. Time that will allow the rest of the day to fall into place, whatever this day may bring. Time that will sharpen our spiritual eyes to see what you want us to see and hear and be today. Thank you, Lord, for this gift of time. Train us to gift a portion of it back to you daily. And this we pray in your wonderful name. Amen.